So now we're going to use the Puppet tools to animate video. We've used it to animate an image on a layer, but you can also use them to warp or create other special effects on video layers. You use advanced pins to make the water swirl. So on the timeline, click the lock icon. Let's first let me hide everything. So click this lock to unlock that. Go to four seconds. Select the water background layer. Select the Puppet Advanced Pen Tool. Puppet Advanced Pen Tool. Then create two advanced pins in the water on either side of the crab and one on each above and below it. So we're going to click to the left of it, to the right of it, above it, below it. We can uncheck show so we don't see all the triangles. We're going to rotate each pin and create waves in the water. You'll probably need to scale and reposition the pins as well to ensure that the water reaches the edges of the scene. If you aren't happy with the effect, you can delete the pins and start over. So we're just going to... Some of these things I am terrible at. Yeah, I did awful. But I got it. I got some swirls. So play around with yours. Get it however you like it as long as you've got some squir squirrels. Some swirls. So let's go to the press the home key. And let's press the space bar to see what our see what yours looks like. Yeah, mine's whatever. I notice I got a little blank spot over here, but that's okay. I tried. So press space bar again when you're done. Let me spread this out a little bit. All right. So get that however you like it. So we've seen that changing the position of each pin at each keyframe worked but it was kind of tedious. Instead of manually animating keyframes, we can use the Puppet Sketch tool to drag the pins into position in real time. After Effects starts recording the motion as soon as you begin dragging a pin, and it stops recording whenever you release the mouse button. The composition moves forward through time as you move the pin. When you stop recording, the current time indicator returns to the point at which you began recording so you can record the path for another pin during the same time period. So we're going to experiment with this method of animation as you recreate the pincer's movement using the Puppet Sketch tool. So first, let's save what we were doing. And now we're going to click File and then Save As. And we're going to name this Motion Sketch. You're going to actually turn in both of these. You'll have your original one, and then you're going to have a motion, motion sketch. 
So move the current timeline to 127. In the timeline panel, select the Crab PSD layer. Press U to display all the keyframes. Scroll down to the left pincer. We're going to deselect, or excuse me, we're going to delete all of these keyframes. So if I drag this over all of these, and I'm going to delete them. Just hit the delete key. And then for the right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to delete all of these keyframes. So we have no keyframes for our pincers now. The animations for the other pins remain, but we've removed the keyframes that animate the pincers. Depending on where you place the starch pins, the pincers may move slightly in response to other pins' movements. Select the Puppet Position Pin Tool. So go up here, Puppet Position Pin Tool. In the Timeline panel, select Puppet. We, can, we already had it selected. Select the left pincer pin. And what we are going to do is we're going to press control and we're going to drag, let's see, press control to activate the sketch tool. I get it now. So when you press, you see how there is a little clock right there? Continue to hold down the control and drag the position. Drag it into a bunch of different positions. Just wiggle it all around. Do the hokey pokey. Turn yourself around and you see you've done all of those. And then go to the right. And we're going to do the same thing. Hold down control. And we're going to do the hokey pokey. We're going to just drag this all crazy. Just This is just showing you how to do all of this. Now, let's go to the home. And let's preview it. And you can see that... Whoa! Yeah, mine's jacked up because I, I, had, I messed up when I was starting. You probably saw me, but that's okay. So we've used the Puppet Tools to create a realistic, engaging animation. Remember, you can use the Puppet Tools to deform and manipulate many kinds of objects. So this ends this assignment. So you're going to export both this motion sketch and the first one that we did and submit both of those in a format that I can watch it.